What is up, Teachers on Fire? Are you an educator who has a ton of passion, enjoys writing about learning and teaching, but you're tired of your hard work invested in blog posts going out into the internet and receiving nothing but crickets? Medium.com just might be the solution for you. I love this platform and I know you're going to get more activity, more visits, more interaction with your work on Medium than you've ever experienced on WordPress, Blogspot, Wix, or anywhere else. So come and join me. I'm going to show you today how to set up a Medium account very quick, how to create a post and publish it, and third, how to link yourself to a publication on Medium and get even more eyeballs and activity on your work, all for free. We're going to do it right now together. Let's go. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is go over to medium.com where we're going to set up an account. And when you arrive, your screen should look something like this. Now notice it recognizes my Google account. It's Sea to Summit Adventures. It's a Google account that I don't use for writing and that's why I'm going to use it as a demonstration today. Now this page happens to recognize who I am and it gives me the option to continue as Sea to Summit. I'm going to X that out actually and get started as if it didn't recognize me. Now it might, the page might recognize you, it might not, but either way, we're going to select this black box up here. Let me zoom in on that. It says, get started. So that seems like a good place to get started. Let's select that. Next, it gives us an opportunity to sign in. And we actually can't sign in because we don't have an account yet. So we need to sign up with Google. You could also do so with Facebook there, but we're going to sign up with Google. Now it's asking me for my full name and I'm going to recommend that even if you are an organization of some kind, you attach a human name to this. After all, it's probably going to be just one person running the account, right? So you are going to put your full name here and I'm going to write my full name, Tim Cavey and click create account. And boom, we have our Medium account. Now Medium right away is going to want to know what my interests are. It says, improve your recommendations by telling us which stories you are not interested in. And later, or at some point here, you can actually select all the genres and topics that you are interested in because it wants to present to you the stories that are going to be of interest. We're not going to do that right away though because we've already accomplished goal number one and that is creating an account. Number two, we are going to create a post. So over here, over here, you see the icon with the pencil and the paper. That's the icon that means write. So let's click that. And I'm going to close out this window. Now down at the bottom, they helpfully give newbies some guidelines or some, not guidelines, but some tips and strategies that you can think about using and integrating into your post but I'm going to skip through a lot of that for now and close that. So we've got a post. One more thing before we publish, let's add an image because this is a powerful feature that a lot of people seem to be unaware of on Medium. So let's say that your post is about education and we're just going to select education and we're going to select this image. Notice it brings it in from Unsplash completely free and it adds the citation, the nice link right here automatically that is a tremendous integration and now we're going to hit publish so it's going to show me the preview image here in a moment and i'm going to add tags like education and learning and teaching and school and students we always want education related tags and if you are writing about a particular topic in education something like sel or dei or technology, whatever it might be, you want to make sure you include those tags in this box because that is going to help Medium understand where to show your story. So go ahead and fill all of those out and then select publish now. And we have completed goal number two, which is publishing a post. Still free, still fast and easy. This is no problem. Now, Goal number three was publish through a publication. And to do that, you need to reach out to a publication on Medium to ask to become a writer with that publication. Once you have that option, you can quickly and easily add any of your stories, past, present, or future to that publication. And that publication can choose to publish your story. Why is that helpful? Simply because publications have their own follow buttons, their own means of subscribing, if you will. 
And so if someone is following a given publication and your story appears there, that may be a way for them to be introduced to your content, even if they didn't know you existed, even if they weren't following you. And so that just helps you get a little bit more visibility. And again, that's one of the great things that makes the Medium platform work for you. So let's say that you reach out to me. I will show you my publication. It is an education publication called Teachers on Fire teachers on fire and so you can find it by selecting publications and there it is teachers on fire magazine so I've got about I think it's 860 followers at the moment at the time of recording and if you go down you'll see all the teacher stories that I have published recently now with every teacher story published I promise to give you some claps on your article and some highlights i can show you what those look like or you can sort of poke around medium and find out for yourself and i will also tweet out your story on twitter i've got about 10,000 followers there so that's going to help you as well i will do all of those things for you for free and you maintain credit uh, the sole ownership on the story let's say uh, this one by allison levine or this one by adrian niebauer all of these stories remain attached to you even though you've submitted your work on a publication, you can pull it out of the publication, you can continue to edit it, you retain control of the story and you receive all compensation associated with engagement on that story. So let's say you've reached out to me, you've DM'd me at Teachers on Fire on any social media platform that is out there and I've added you as a writer. What happens next? All right, so you've published an education post on Medium and you're really excited about it and you've decided, I actually want to submit this post to an education publication on Medium, like the Teachers on Fire magazine. How do I do that? Well, you'll notice at the top of your post, you've got some lovely little options. You can share the post on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can grab the link to your story or you can bookmark it. Why would you do that if it's your own post? But anyway, and then you can select the three dots and actually edit story. So we're going to edit story. And inside this menu, you can add to publication. So you hit the three dots again. Look at all of these great options. Now we've got right here, add to publication. And because I've already reached out to me, Tim KV, I know I'm speaking in circles here, but let's say that you've reached out to Tim KV at Teachers on Fire. You are now a Teachers on Fire magazine writer. You will now see this option to publish or add your story to a publication and just hit submit. So as soon as you hit submit, it will give you this message. We'll email you when the publication editor has reviewed your submission. And usually I will see those notices within 24 hours or so, and I will publish it and I will, uh, I will tweet that out and clap it up and highlight it and do my best to promote your work. So there are the three goals. We created a medium account. We published a post and we added our post to a publication all within a matter of minutes. Now there is a premium setting on Medium and that allows you to read an unlimited amount of posts and that will cost you $5 a month. That is something that is purely optional. You don't have to select that option, but if you do, it allows you again to read unlimited posts. And I would say also that if you're writing consistently on Medium, you're going to easily earn back that $5 and more in terms of engagement from your posts. So dig into that on medium.com if you're a little unsure of what I'm talking about. But basically, the more attention and engagement your stories get from paying members on Medium, the more you will be compensated for your work. Not a great deal, not a gold mine, but a little bit that dignifies your work and the investment you've put into your great education writing. Hey, again, if you are a teacher interested in writing on medium.com, I'm promising, I'm offering my support, my promotion, my publication, and that is an easy way to get a little more recognition, a little more interaction and engagement with the ideas that you are looking to share with the world. If you've got any questions about medium.com, about my publication, or if I can help you in any way, please leave a comment below. I'd, happy, I'd be happy to help you on your journey with writing. Writing is how we learn. Let's learn to write and write to learn.
Take care, educators, and I'll talk to you again soon.